movie lovers and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. And I got a movie for y'all that's mind blowing. The acting is definitely superb and I love the story in this movie and we about to get into that right now. <laughs> the Unbidden. Really good. The movie was directed by Quentin Lee and written by Narhi On. This movie was really good. It really surprised me. Even watching the trailer, I did not know what to expect until I actually went into the movie. But the movie was, I really enjoyed it. The story was powerful. It, it had its little, like, creepy moments. But it wasn't scary, but it, it was just really good. I really love how everybody did this movie. I love the acting in this movie. Everything was superb. The way it was directed. The way certain images was used. Like, because you did in a horror movie, they kind of like to show things in weird ways. But in this movie, it was just... The angles was just perfectly directed. But the movie starts off with this woman, Lauren. She sleeps. She's in her bed. And then you just instantly see something creeps under her covers and then pulls the cover off of her. And next thing you know, something you just see a dead hand just choke the shit out of her. So she wakes up, you know, and she's paranoid. Like, what was, what was so strange about her character, she was paranoid in her house. Which is, I know how that feel. You ever just have those moments where... You feel like you're not the only person in your house, but yet you kind of like stop in certain areas because you'll hear like certain sounds and, and her house is very active. It's active during the day. So like she's in the bathroom, she's brushing her teeth and you see like this shadow like walk, like go past real fast in a bathroom. So when she goes to walk downstairs, there'll be like little things like um, one of her friends called her on the phone because uh, she called her friends over because this was the anniversary of something bad happening at her house, which is I'm not going to spoil that. And <laughs> so, like, you were here, like, she was about to open up the champagne, and she looked at the pills, but she put the pills down, she wanted the champagne, but then she heard her champagne just instantly popped, and she just looked at the bottle like, wow. So she just went over there, she she, she just um pick, pick, took the pill, took a pick, pick up pill bottles up, and just looked at the champagne, and she just took the drink. <laughs> like... <laughs> looking around that was so weird but then the movie gets really interesting when all her friends come over her friend was cat and and rachel aka roach because that's what cat called rachel when they come over the house i mean you could definitely tell i love their chemistry their friendship i mean they is for sure ride or die friends these girls ride and die for each other like that's real friendship when you see this movie this movie shows you what real friendship is and how far friendship can really go. But I really love this movie. Before I get any further, because I don't want to spoil this movie, I really enjoyed it. Let's get this movie ready, shall we? I give this movie two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh, yeah. And let's get into the friends. I really love like how different they are, but they, they just click so well. Like you got you got Lauren, the the innocent, like, like I care, but it's hard to let people in type of girl. You got her. Then you got the one girl, Rachel. You know, she's spiritual. So she's spiritually in touch with things. Like, she know how to conjure spirits and just understand the layouts of things like that. But she also have a heart for Lauren, which is Lauren knows that. But she kind of brushes that off. Then you got Cat. Cat is off the chain. Like, when they go back and show them when they were young, Cat was off the chain. I really liked her character. I thought she was awesome. Young and and as as she got older, awesome character. And then she was wild. She's wild, but she she bought her money though. That's for sure. But she cared about her friends as well. And then what's it's one more. Um, Anna. Anna is just the heart filled one. She's the one that keeps things together, keep everyone together. Anna is just full of heart. I love Anna. She was awesome. She was like that when she was young. Everybody was the same way as they were when they was young. And you basically see them when they get older. But I just love their chemistry. You can tell that these women work really hard on their roles. And they pulled it off. I mean, so well where you honestly believe that they could they could be like that in real life. And like I said, the movie was really enjoyable. She called them over. They had a seance, you know, about what happened. Like I said, I can't tell y'all what actually happened because I really want you to see the movie. I want you to buy the movie, see the movie, go see the movie, try to see the movie the best way you can. But like I said, the movie do not disappoint. It was really good. Good story. Good horror dynamics. But it really wasn't. It's like a thriller. So it's not a horror. So I don't want y'all going to this movie like, man, that shit wasn't scary. That's y'all. That shit wasn't scary, dog. Like, I want y'all to do I just want y'all to like. Immerse, you know, let go, allow yourself to get into the story. I'm telling you, the story is awesome. Check this movie out, The Unbodied. It's awesome. I love it. It got my highest rating. I highly recommend it. 
Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the unbody. Because I already told you when I go about it. I really love the movie. I love the chemistry between these women. Full lead ladies. They was awesome. Even the young girls that played as them when they were young, they killed it. And everything was great about this movie. The directing, the writer, killed it. And <laughs> oh, yeah. And don't forget to check out my video for October, um, my top 10. That's going to be awesome, too. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.